Good morning, farmer residents. How can I help you? as I'm sure you may well do. Yes, Your Honor. What can I do for you this morning? Well, we just wanted to inform you, being that you're a close friend of Mr. Joseph Borchigaloup. Um, we and the Council have come to a determination as to what we'd like to do with Mr. Borchigaloup in relation to that little sticky automobile incident that happened with him and uh, Mr. Christopher Bond and uh, Mr. Blobby Farmer. Oh, yes. Yeah, that that's quite a complicated little uh, situation. Yes, indeed, because it did filter over into the Galvin Valley Ireland area. But we do feel that Mr. Bachigaloop needs to really understand what we expect of the residents in our fair community, and uh, he needs to focus more on becoming a productive member of the community, if you know what I mean. Yes, I know exactly what you mean. So, if I may ask with all due respect, why are you calling me? <laughs> well, Mr. Farmer, we would like to know, being that, oh, well, let's face it, some of the council members are a little intimidated by Mr. Borchigloop, and um, we would like to know if you'd be some sort of, like, a buffer maybe talk him down a little bit and uh, soften the news. Oh. <laughs> well, uh, you must have come up with a real uh, dilly of a plan here. <laughs> Can I ask uh, exactly what his, um, well, for lack of a better word, punishment would be? Well, we've decided that um, maybe he should give back to the community a little bit. So uh, we thought maybe a little roadside beautification program would suit him just fine and uh, we know how much he loves to drive tractors and so forth so we provided him with a tractor and a road safety equipment vehicle and uh, we thought he'd be in up to a little bit of verge cutting <laughs> well if you've seen the last little uh, lawn mowing job he did for that nice old lady in the community <laughs> you may not want to volunteer him for that but i can certainly keep an eye on him and try to do my best to make sure that everything uh goes along smoothly as you know joey's a little bit of an unpredictable character but i think if he understands the consequences that'll kind of keep a tight leash on him indeed and we're counting on you mr farmer so very good, sir. I shall go ahead and ring up Mr. Botchkaloop and deliver the wonderful news, which I'm sure he will be thrilled with. And um, maybe you can also find somebody that might give him a helping hand, as he can't work alone. And I know that you're quite busy on your farm. Well, I actually happen to know a gentleman that fits the bill, um, Mr. Victor Slobonovich. Um, I think he'd be happy to help out Joey. He seems to like Joey a great deal, and Victor and I, of course, are very good friends, so I'll put it to Victor and see if he'll help him out a little bit. Splendid, splendid. Thank you so much, Mr. Farmer, for your time, and good day to you. Yes, take care, Your Honor. Hello? <clears throat> yes, good morning, Mr. Borchaglou. This is uh, Michael Chillington, local magistrate, as you know. Yeah, yeah, what can I do for you, pal? What's up? As if I didn't know anyway. Well, Mr. Botchgloop, uh, may I call you Joseph? Yeah, go ahead. Call me Joseph. I don't care. Yes, thank you, Joseph. We've come to determination as um, what your corrective message uh, should be, um, and I think that you'll find it uh, quite relaxing and um, quite fulfilling. So... We have made arrangements with um, the town workers, and they have afforded you some equipment. And uh, you'll be able to get out in the great outdoors and do a little bit of town beautification. Oh yeah, town beautification. What's that involve, huh? Shoveling up cow manure and all that on everybody's farm around here? Come on, what's going on here? No, 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 no. Nothing like that, Mr. D Mr. B. Um, we thought that maybe you'd be interested in doing a little bit of verge cutting and street sweeping. Just for the day. We thought a nice full day of that. And um, 
that would serve you well and the community as well. <laughs> oh yeah, I like how you pull that off. You should come down and sell used cars for me. You got pretty good lines there, Mikey, old boy. Yeah, all right. So, supposing I ain't interested in doing your little grass-cutting program here. What do you think of that? Maybe I'll just stay here, nice and cozy in my house. Have a glass of wine, maybe some espresso, look out the window. What do you think of that? Well, Mr. Bonchagloop, there is always alternative choices. So, I ask you... Do you enjoy on a cold winter's night to snuggle up in your warm bed next to your lovely wife? <laughs> Come on, who wouldn't? Of course I do, that's a stupid question. Well, Mr. Bochigaloop, we have a little hotel reserved for you in town at the local sheriff's department. It has a lovely cold metal bed and uh, you never know who'll be snuggling up with you to share that nice little cot with you for the next, oh, 30 to 90 days. So, there's always choices, Mr. B. So what's going to be your choice? Ah, touche. Touche there, your magistrate and honor and uh, majesty there. All right. Yeah, I'll go along with your little grass-cutting program. I'll go along with it. I thought that you would be most amenable to this. And I was uh, told by Mr. Farmer that uh, maybe Mr. Victor Slobonovich might be interested in helping you out. So I took the liberty of ringing him up, and um, he eagerly awaits your arrival. So you can get started first thing this morning. Oh, just peachy. Just peachy. Thank you very much for making all the arrangements for me. It's such a pressure on my back. I was so worried. Yeah, all right. I'll get to it. Take care there, Pally. <sighs> boy, oh boy, oh boy. I'll tell you. What my mouth does gets me in trouble every time. Now, let me go pick up Victor. Yeah, how you doing, everybody? So Eustace thought it would be a nice example for all the young folks in town if I was to go ahead and use his GoPro and film our little day of adventure. So Eustace is all right, so what the heck. I'm in no position to bargain today, I guess. So I'm going down to pick up Victor. And uh, Victor don't have a car because uh, he doesn't quite have the parking accommodations. Uh, you'll see why once we pull up on the dump, I mean joint. So Victor's a little bit of a cheapskate. <laughs> you take a little shortcut here. I don't usually go down this bumpy road because it kick up all the kind of stones, you know? Bang up my pay job. But today I don't care, I want to get this over with. Plus, I know a guy in town who will paint my car for nothing. All right. Look at this. This lazy bum. I told him, meet me out front by the gate, and he's not even out here yet. Now we're going to have to go down there and get him. Let me go ahead and leave the car here. Yeah, there it is. Home sweet du uh, home. Sweet home. <laughs> Boy, I tell you, yeah, he told me he got this nice little bargain on a nice little apartment, only the neighborhood's a little noisy. Yeah, it's noisy, all right. <laughs> He's got freight trains coming by. Look at that. The other side of the house don't even have any windows in it. <whistles> hey, Victor, come on. Let's go. Let's go. I'll meet you out in the car. Okay, Joy, I coming now. Put on my shoe. I be right there. Yeah, come on, make it snappy. We got work to do. Jeez, it's about time there, buddy boy. What the heck were you doing in there? Hey, Joy, come on. I help to you from goodness of my heart. And you complain, complain, complain. I can go to back home and watching TV, you know. Hey, look, pal. You're in the car, so now you're in it 
to win it. You're not going no place. And yeah, yeah, thanks a lot. I appreciate your help and all that. Why are you so crab all the time? Crabby, crabby, crabby. Complain, complain. You can use little bit cheerful natures. I'm cheerful. I'm cheerful. I got a good sense of humor. Yeah, I see that. I see that. You are barrel full monkey. Good fun for hanging around. Look, I'll tell you what. After this is all over with, I'll take you down to the local pub. And we'll have a nice glass of suds and a nice steak dinner on me. How's that sound? Yeah, I, I hold on, they wait to see this happening. But don't worry, you'll see it happen. I'm a man of my word. Okay, Joey. Oh boy, look at all this over here. Holy mackerel. Yeah, got some fancy equipment. No, that stuff over there is fancy. Look at this old jalopy over here. How about you drive the tractor and cut the grass? I'll drive the truck and put the signs out. How's that sound? No, Joey, you're supposed to drive tractor because that has grass cutting thing on there that you're supposed to do for your for your punishment. Hey, it's not punishment. It's community service. Yeah, okay. Whatever you like call, that's your job. I will driving truck. Okay, Joey. I tell to you what, you go inside, have your coffee, and I will go and put signs for roadway so nobody, <laughs> so nobody <laughs> running you over. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm sure you'd like to see that. I'm sure you're very concerned for my safety. Yeah, but I'll take you up on that. I'm going to go inside and have a little sticky bun and a cup of coffee. Get to it, pal. Yeah, you make it a pleasure to do favor for your joy. You make it so reward experience hey what can i say i may be a little rough around the edges but i'm just a lovable teddy bear kind of guy see you in a little bit joey don't forget me don't worry about it pal hello everybody i am victor victor slobonovich good friend to joey butch Golub, and uh, use this farmer i'm helping joey today only help i have no punishment i don't do no criminal I'm just helping. So we will put out signs to keep uh, people from making their dream come true, running over Joey Butch Galoop in the road. <laughs> okay, so here they tell we'll be cutting left side. So we will put sign on the road, left side, on the right side. Maybe, maybe one here, huh? I think maybe first drop off cleaner sweeping. Yeah, good, good. Okay, now we need more con on the road. I don't know, I only have four, so I make big space. So maybe another one here. We can put. Yeah, these cones like have magnet inside. I don't think so, Joey. I can make more cone for you. Maybe I will just use truck and safety man car will be here anyways. Uh, two cone is good. We will put maybe sign down here. He will be fine. If you don't see Joey, you will hear him anyway. <laughs> there we go. Hello, Con. You look very strange. Okay. City guy will follow to Joey. And I will come relax. And do sweeping. When Joey finish make mess. <laughs> All right, here we go, everybody. It's showtime. Let's get this thing done. Got this Jamokes behind me. Keep people from smashing me from the back. Turn it on. Lower it down. Look at that. There we go. We're cutting the grass. 
This is actually kind of fun. Yeah, getting a little bit in the row, but that's all right. My old pal Victor there, that's what he's for. Come and sweep it up. All right, folks, that's it for me. My part is done. Turning it over to my old pal Vicky. <laughs> so long, suckers. Okay, everybody. Time for clean up Joey's mess. Okay, everybody, thank you very much. I give you now back to Joy and my friend uh, Eustace. Bye-bye. All right, everybody, so I hope you enjoyed this little episode. Um, a little something different, and uh, Joey and Victor, we're glad to have you right along with them. <laughs> and I hope this teaches Joey a lesson. So I really hope that you've been doing well since we've last met. And wherever in the world that you call home, I hope you're having a great morning, afternoon, or evening. And until we meet again, thank you very much for stopping by and watching, and talk to you again soon. Bye-bye for now.